you, City Council. I want to take uh, this time to thank you for having this meeting. I wish it was before the fact instead of after. My name is John Novak. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I live in the Lake Forest Park area. We also have a moratorium. Uh, as you can tell when I walked down the stairs there, I had a pretty easy time coming down. Most people would look at me and say, you know, what's, the, what's the problem here? Obviously healthy. Why do you need marijuana? Because I have epilepsy. I've gone from having over 75 to 120 seizures in a day down to maybe one or two. And this happened because of medical cannabis. I've gone through the court system being raided because I ran what back in 2010 would have been classified as a collective guard today. Four people in the household, three people in the household, one gal I was providing homes for who had a, 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 back, a back problem. So when you guys make a moratorium like this and blanket it across collective gardens, individuals, without taking any of our uh, needs into consideration, you're not, you're not serving the will of people. I can tell you for a fact, just myself, the, the limits that you have on power, it's, it, wouldn't be, it would not be workable for me as a patient that's going for myself. I would not be able to provide a high quality medication. I would need a lot more. And I, I, would, I would never be able to catch up using the power structure that you have. Uh, as far as collective gardens go, it only takes two people to make a collective garden. So we, when you throw out the blanket, uh, moratoriums on collectives, I understand you're trying to limit storefronts, but you're, you're hitting everybody. And, and it's one of the most effective ways, cost-wise, for me to provide medication for myself is to allow at least one or two other patients to help. That's how dramatic uh, medical cannabis has helped me. I've gone from somebody who was basically a hermit to being able to come out and speak in front of people like yourselves. It's helped me to, to be a regular citizen, to be a part of the community, and I hope that you understand this, that that's really all we're trying to be, is to be a part of our community. Thank you. Good evening, members of the council. My name is Arthur West. I live in um, 120 State Street in Olympia, Washington. Uh, I'm here to talk to you tonight about land-use planning, and I think that it's very important that cities, when they're engaged in land-use planning, do so deliberately, slowly, and with public input. I don't think that what we did last um, last meeting on the 1st of July followed those requirements. Um, like, as with 50 other cities and counties in the state of Washington, you declared an emergency and adopted moratorium or interim zoning on concerning I-502 and medical marijuana. Now, I don't really see as there's an emergency that justifies suspending the State Environmental Policy Act, suspending public comment, uh, adopting interim zoning for a year without hearing one citizen testify in the dead of night. Um, this is underscored by the determination of non-significance of the state liquor control board issue just on the 12th. Now, the state liquor control board says there's no environmental impact from legalizing marijuana over the whole state. Where does the city get off saying that there's an emergency? If you believe that there was an emergency, how come you haven't told that to the state the liquor control board when you met with them, when the AWC had a webinar that you could have talked to them at? Uh, how come there that you haven't commented to the Labor Control Board and said, hey guys, uh, you need to do a CEPA review on this. There's an emergency. We need to review this slowly, deliberately, so we won't have to uh, call an emergency in the dead of night and issue interim zoning. This type of scattered haphazard planning over, by over 50 cities um, is exactly the type of piecemeal review that the State Environmental Policy Act is supposed to prohibit. I just get flat, I am completely flabbergasted how uh, the state can say there's absolutely no significant impact from this type of policy, whereas you and 50 
other cities and counties say there's an emergency. And I hope someone can explain that to me. And I hope in the future, when you make policy, you do so with public comment, without declaring bogus emergencies that don't exist, and do so slowly and deliberately in accord with the will of the people of the city of Bellingham. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon uh, to the council members. Uh, my name is Steve Serich. I reside at 2735 First Avenue South in Seattle. I'm the executive director of the Canvas Action Coalition. Uh, our job is protecting patients. I'm a patient. We, we would love to work with your city coming up with reasonable regulations. Um, but for three years, we've watched small-minded city councils across the state pass moratoriums, rolling moratoriums, bans, you called for, you said there were emergencies, you called for studies, and nobody's doing any studies. Uh, over 8% of the voters in the state of Washington, probably more than what you got elected by, approved medical marijuana. And, and yet, the cities, the city councils, are putting bans. And don't try to tell us there's an emergency. We, we, we're not stupid people. We understand what, what's really behind this is just another version of reefer madness. You're trying to deny safe access to the patients here in your city. And you're doing it without public input, and you're certainly not doing it with the cooperation of the patients. You're certainly not asking us what we think would be a fair and equitable situation. And our organization writes laws. We can certainly help you with that, if that's what you need help with. Uh, but now there's over 56. Now, now it's turned into a play. Now, um, last year, we sued the city of Kent, and that's still in court. And we thought you would all maybe get the message once one city was sued, but apparently you didn't get the message. So uh, tonight, gentlemen, Speak. It has a chilling effect on people with a different view than yours, so they can't do that anymore. 